for East Londoners the sound of victory is anything that sounds quieter than this. The noise issues for residents around Veterans Memorial Parkway, first brought up in 2001, is just one vote away from being solved. So it's going to be on public property. And here's the solution. A continuous stretch of wooden fence reducing noise for area residents along Veterans Memorial from Oxford to Trafalgar. One area resident who has heard enough is Colette Dodds. Yeah, like in the summertime, you can't open your windows in the house, eh? I can't even watch TV in my living room if my back door is open, my patio door is open. Committee approving the fence at a cost no more than $500,000? She doesn't call that a solution. They forced us into a corner, and this is our compromise, and if we don't take it, we could be fighting another 10, 15 years, and we just don't have it in us anymore. Uh, but this, in fact, will... Councillor Bill Armstrong sits on the same side of the fence as his constituent. They'll be happy with this because this is what they have to work with. But understand that this is different than what we envisioned. And you need to know that. After months of debate, patience appears to be low for not only East Londoners, but city officials, including the mayor. Let's just get this damn fence built in 2014, okay? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Just down the street from the potential fence is Councillor Bud Polhill, already deconstructing the idea. But I can't support a half job. I think it's something that I can't, I'm not voting here, but I can tell you it's, it's, not, it's not what these people deserve and I can't, I, I can't support it when it comes to council. City councillors currently sitting on the fence have until the next full council meeting to make up their mind and ultimately make the final decision. For Inside London, I'm Robert Springett.